Now that Governor Kemp has lifted nearly all of Georgia's COVID-19 restrictions, health experts say vaccinations are increasingly important to get closer to herd immunity. But are vaccines the only way to achieve that community protection? Paula Soro verifies. Here's the tweet we're looking into. Is it true or false that herd immunity is reached when a percentage of the people have had the virus? Here are our sources. Dr. William Orenstein with Emory University School of Medicine, Daniel Richards with Global Rescue Crisis Management Company, and the Mayo Clinic Medical Research. Let's start with the how. According to the Mayo Clinic, there are two main paths to reaching herd immunity for COVID-19, infections and vaccinations. I, I think that needs to be put in context because Again, how many people have to die, how many people have to be hospitalized in order to reach that level? And we don't know how long a natural infection-induced immunity will last. Mayo Clinic experts estimate that in the U.S., 70% of the population, or more than 200 million people, would have to recover from COVID-19 to stop the spread. But that could also lead to complications and millions of deaths. The medical community consensus is we'll reach that protection faster with vaccinations. The good news is that they work together. So people that come down, there is no evidence today to support that your immunity that gets developed as a result of infection is, is much less durable than the immunity that you get from the vaccine. But those shots are only helpful if people are willing to get them. Vaccines don't save lives. Vaccinations save lives. A vaccine dose that remains in the vial is 0% effective no matter what the clinical trial showed. So we can verify that it's true. Herd immunity comes when a large percentage of the population becomes resistant to the virus, but it's likely it will take longer to rely on infection to develop protective antibodies against COVID-19.